and uh, welcome back <coughs> for my Garmin review. I'm going to be reviewing my, my new Garmin. I, uh, I picked up the Garmin Forerunner 735 XT for my runs as my Fitbit broke. Um, and yeah, I've been using this watch now for about a week. And I just wanted to show you a bit of an overview. Honestly, I really, really like this watch. I would say it's more of the base model, um, but there are a lot of features. And right now on Amazon, they had it on a really, really good deal. Um, and yeah, overall, it's a really, really good watch. Uh, this is the box, you know, and it has uh, Strava capabilities. You can sync it up with your Strava. And that's what the app's gonna look like. You know, it's a, it's a very, very solid box. Came pretty quick off Amazon. I assume the same if you ordered off Garmin. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend it. And it, like I said, I've been running with it for about a week now. And it's very comfortable. And uh, there's a lot of awesome features on this watch, which I'm going to walk you through. And uh, yeah, decide for yourself. But I think it's, uh, it's an awesome purchase if you're looking for a, a bit of an upgrade on your your uh, athletic watches, electronic watches, I highly recommend this one. So I'm just going to give you guys an overview of the settings uh, within the Garmin watch. So basically, when you're looking at it, you got five buttons, okay, and each button controls or takes you to a menu. Uh, the first one is you have your on and off button. And that's also your backlight button. So when you press that, it'll light the screen up. And if you press it again, it'll turn it off. Um, and that's just, you know, early mornings and late nights. If you want to see your screen, it's a good idea. Press that one, and you can see the time, the date, and you can turn it off. Uh, these two buttons, these are just a scroll on the menu, uh, which I'm going to take you to now. So you have your play button up here. This acts as your confirmation button as well. So when you select your workout, um, this is the one you'll be pressing. And then this is your back button. And it works as any regular back button. It just takes you back to the previous menu. So in order to access your menu, you just press this play button here. And as you can see, it has activity uh, and menu, and it'll show you your latest activity, which in my case, it is the run. So if you scroll down, okay, focus it up here. Uh, you have activity settings, you have training, you have history, you have your stats, navigation, settings, you know, and in the settings, uh, for example, so again, I'm gonna press this one to select, you know, you have your, you can set up your heart rate monitor, um, sensors and accessories, you know, Bluetooth, widgets, uh, alarms, do not disturb, you know, all the basics that you would in any other watch, um, you know, in your navigation, uh, you can actually pre-save some of your, your routes that you run, uh, which is a pretty awesome feature. Um, it'll save your courses, locations, uh, using your GPS, you know, it'll show you where you are. So that's a pretty awesome feature. Um, and then you got your stats. So for example, if we have a look at mine, uh, it'll show you like recovery, VO2, uh, race predictor, lactate threshold. So there's, there's a lot of information, you know, just within the menu. Uh, history, that shows you your activities and like, you know, the amount of kilometers or miles you've ran, uh, training, this one saves workouts and calendars, uh, intervals, you know, you can basically customize your training however you want and keep the log of it in the watch and the app. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, then you have activity settings, you know, and basically with alerts and data screens and labs, you can... You can customize to exactly what, what it is that you want to see, you know, while you're doing uh, set activity. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then if we go back to the menu, let me just press the button here. Um, 
So in, in under activities, that's where you're going to pick. So you have your run, you have your you know, indoor run, you have your bike, your indoor bike, you know, your pool, open water, strength, hike. And of course, you can actually add more. There's a whole library of, you know, different activities you can do. Um, and then you can also download apps. And uh, so like if there's an app you like, like Spotify, you can put it on the watch. And then this one has a triathlon mode, which is very cool. It'll log, you know, your swim, the bike, and the run all together, and it'll switch between the exercises seamlessly. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then going back, you know, you have your, your base menu with your time, your seconds, your date, battery, Bluetooth, and you can customize it as such. But basically, that's, uh, that's the Garmin menu. Um, you know, it's pretty intuitive and straightforward. So... Uh, yeah, again, I highly recommend this watch. I think it's an awesome, uh, an awesome purchase if you're looking for an upgrade in athletic electronic watches and you want to be able to see more information on your runs or your bikes or your swims. I uh, I highly recommend the Garmin Forerunner 735 XT.